The lands tamed, the seas charted, your empire on the cusp of immortality. But would it be a true tale of historical conquest if there wasn't one final major hurdle? In Immortal Empires, we've reworked endgame scenarios, meaning it's not always going to be the incursion of chaos knocking on your faction's door. These scenarios will push your empire to its limits, making you fight to the very last to survive. Before you start your long campaign for supremacy, you'll have the chance to customise your endgames in numerous ways. The difficulty slider lets you determine how much of a final hurdle the endgame will be, from a mild thorn in your side to a fully-fledged apocalypse scenario. The early warning timer lets you decide how much time you have to plan for the endgame, or if you'd rather that the scenario be dropped on you out of the blue, sending your empire into chaos. Next up are the triggers for long victory and turn timer range. These can determine whether you want the endgame scenario to trigger when you hit the long victory, or if you want the endgame scenario to trigger within a certain time limit of turns, which you have the ability to set. Or alternatively, you can use both of these. So if you wanted to trigger the endgame between turns 10 and 20, either out of some lust for challenge, or out of some morbid curiosity, you can do that. Lastly, there are the scenarios you can pick from, selecting either one of these to guarantee that end game, or a collection for the game to choose from to spring on you at the end. Let's take a look at these final major challenges. Starting from the top, in the Black Pyramid, the undead forces in control of this ominous building stir to life in very aggressive fashion. If an AI vampire counts or Tomb King's army controls the pyramid, they'll gain additional armies, become incredibly aggressive, and will go to war with all of their neighbours. If it's controlled by a faction that's not vampires or tomb kings, it'll be retaken by King Oftos and his sentinels, who'll also adopt this brand new aggression and go to war. The only way to quell this uprising of undead is to take the war to the pyramid, claim it for yourself, and fight them back into the ground. In a grudge too far, the dwarfs, who grow grudges as long as their beards, decide they've had enough of everybody, and that no matter who you are, you're going in the book. Darwi armies will spawn in every faction's homeland. If they don't control those lands, they'll declare war on whoever does. If you don't own it, it's theirs now. Dwarfs are renowned for their grudges, and will hold on to them until they've seen it right, or they're dead. If you want history to remember you, you'll need to face their artillery head-on and bury them under the mountains. Not to be outdone on the aggression front, in the scenario, THE BIGGEST WAR, the Greenskins are spoiling for their biggest fight yet, and you're in their sights. If Grimgor, Wurzag, Grom, Azag, or Skarsnik are alive, they'll get new armies spawning on their location. Not only do these armies appear, but big buffs are also applied to them, to coincide with their love of violence. If you want to quell this growing rage, you're going to have to kill them all, matching their brutality and their cunning. But don't expect them to go down without a fight. In the magical forests of the Old World, Orion's horn sounds out as the Wood Elves prepare for the Wild Hunt, another endgame scenario. The major forests all spawn hostile Wood Elf armies, ready to declare war on the world. The armies gain buffs to recruitment, replenishment, upkeep, leadership, and most threatening of all, their ammo capacity is doubled. As they seemingly try to blot out the sun under a hail of arrows in the name of Athel Lauren, you'll need to claim and hold at least half of the glades to end the hunt. Lastly, in the Vampiric Ascension scenario, the nights are about to grow longer, as the forces of darkness are on the rise. The Vampire Counts return with powerful, fully stacked armies in their home regions, with bonuses to corruption, replenishment, and upkeep. If you want to survive the night and keep your empire intact, you'll need to capture the vampire-infested regions to put these Masters of Death down, once and for all. 
These scenarios are only the beginning for what we're planning with endgames for Total War Warhammer 3, with more coming in future updates, including an ultimate challenge for either the most morbidly curious or the most battle-scarred veterans. So build your empire, maintain control of your lands, and prepare yourself for the final onslaught. The endgames will put all that you've built and all that you've learned to the final test. For more information on endgames and immortal empires, don't forget to check out the blog.